The diagnostic approach to dogs uh, with a positive antigen test is really variable. When a young dog presents and has a positive antigen test but is otherwise negative, particularly when it has a low period of exposure time, meaning that the infection worm burden is low, um, probably no real diagnostic workup is necessary for that dog. It's going to tolerate therapy well. The exception to that, however, is that any dog that's antigen positive should be examined for microfilaria. The dog that presents for routine evaluation and heartworm tests but is middle-aged has had seasons of potential exposure. The infection rate is going to be dependent on whether it has been on heartworm preventative some of that time. Uh, obviously then the infection burden is going to be less. That dog probably also does not need a great workup, but it becomes more logical to do so, particularly if finances are not a great concern. For that dog, I would advocate that we do a complete blood count, urinalysis, and a chemistry panel. The biggest dilemma occurs in the dog who's middle-aged to aged and it has clinical signs. That creates a problem because that dog needs its worms removed more than any other dog, and it's at greatest risk of an adverse event due to that. And for example, if a dog has severe pulmonary vascular disease and you kill the adult worms, you may actually throw that dog into heart failure. So the more knowledge one can obtain for that dog, the better. The dilemma is, is that many people who have dogs with heartworm infection are financially challenged, and so those who need it most are less apt to be able to do it. Um, and that takes some creative thinking, discussions, prioritizing, A really good physical exam is quite helpful. But conceivably, if one uses the traditional heartworm society's approach, the three-dose protocol preceded by doxycycline, that dog still may do very well.